Hi, this is Jeremy Sweeten with Understanding Ag, January 18th on our farm in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, east end of Lake Superior. Got a cold front coming down out of Canada, and right now our wind chills at zero with 30 mile an hour winds. And just thought I would show you how tough our cattle have it today. They're blocked by the woods, um, so this wind didn't hardly touch them. It's, it's breaking it all up. We fed a decent amount of good quality hay yesterday, knowing we've got four or five days of minus 15 to 20 Fahrenheit coming up for lows at night, and uh, negative to negative single digits to zero during the day. So I just thought I'd show you how tough these girls have it. So part of regenerative ag is lowering our inputs. And one input that we do not have is a barn. And then that means we don't have to scrape manure, we don't have to haul manure, we don't have to provide bedding of any sort. And this just frees up a bunch of time. The cattle have their own bedding, they have their own feed, they're well cared for, they're out of the wind, um, they're well insulated. So this is just one way that we can add more margin to our bottom line when raising cow-calf pairs. And they're well protected. We fed a bunch of good hay yesterday and some, some lower quality hay. And as you can see, they're very content and they're needing nothing and they're definitely not stressed. So this is a great way to get them ready for the cold coming in. And also their body condition is good. So that makes them more resilient to any type of weather changes. Um, and a lot of that comes to really selecting the epigenetics for our part of the world. What will happen is with some of these cows that can't handle these conditions is they won't breed back because they lose body condition and fertility is always the first thing to go on a cow.